Hey everybody, how's it going? So I have another mystery bag. Um, this one was bought at the community and I almost lost it. There was somebody in front of me who was looking at this bag. There was a lady inspecting it and I was thinking, I don't care if it looks like it has junk. I want a mystery bag right now. So I'm going to hop on to, into this. It already started opening up and ripping. Um, I do have a little guest appearance. Um, I have a good family friend. His name is Jackson, and he's actually going to kind of like hop in and help me with the jewelry from here and there. But um, let's hop right in. Let's go treasure hunting. So hopefully we could find some sil I don't know why, but I feel like this might be a silver cuff. We'll test. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it is. If it sticks to the metal, test it out. And let's... Oh, everything is flying all out of here. Um, and Jackson, feel free to, you know, just go ahead and, oh, that busted. Okay. To, um, see if you like anything or if there's anything that looks interesting to you. So, oh, wow. Look at that one. Because I'm just gonna, there's, there's kind of a bit of bangles in here. So let's move this all to the side. So, this is bent, but, let me see here, I don't, what do you think about this one? I actually like that one. It's yeah, cool. it's, it has some, like, enamel inlay, it has the gold tone, I, I don't think this is real. Yeah, it's slightly sticking, so unfortunately, it does have a bend and it was soldered right there. But I don't know. That's yeah, it definitely does have some vivid colors in here some reds, some blues. It's cute, it just has some wear and um, bend to it. So um, let's see here. So we just have your typical seed bead, uh, cuff. Um, cuff. That's pretty cool. Do you like this one? Yeah, I'm sure. Nice. The colors, huh? The colors are cool. Yeah, in the way that they made it. Yeah, these are very common. I get a lot of these in bags and I see them. They're like a dime a dozen. I should probably collect these and see how many colors I could get, but I've come yeah, across... Yeah, come across like purples, greens. So this is just your your typical gold tone bangle. So, um, I did see that there was quite a bit of bangles in here, but you know, um, n not like a lot, a lot. Just I, regardless, I was going to get this in the straight bag. As soon as that other lady dropped it, I was on it. I was, I was, as they say, um, thrift stocking. <laughs> I was thrift stocking. Okay, so this is, I, I don't know how, okay, maybe I could get it. Oh, okay, I don't want, I could force it on. But I may not be able to get it off. So... This just looks like a stainless steel type of material. Look, there's a wear on it. There's like a copper wear. Well, it's already yeah. Fade. Yeah, it's already. But it's cute, especially with somebody who has a smaller wrist. So here we have an earring. Just a flower. No marks. Okay. Oh, we have matching. Oh, this yeah, is. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. But, okay, these don't match. We're going to have to put these to the side. This is like a... I don't want to say a cat eye. Because it has, like, swirls in it. I don't know. Maybe If the other one matches, then they were made like this. But if it doesn't, this was added on. Sometimes they do really well with men cufflinks. They do sit there for a while, but I do make the money back on them and some. So this was probably like in a pack and they just threw it in there. Um, so we'll put these to the side. Hopefully we can find its meat. Um, a lot of little loose earrings. 
I don't think any of these are. Okay, so these are definitely not silver. This isn't hitting. These might be silver. So that's. It does look like it. it might be. I don't know. I'm gonna test it. Single earring. Okay, so now we have a stretch. This is a L. L J. What is loose in there? Oh, they're the letters. They came off. Okay, yeah. So this isn't. This isn't. This is an L J. Stretchy, but it's it has seen better days. Am I right, Jackson? Yeah, it looks like it has. Mhm. Mm yeah, it could maybe. Could be nice in the past. Mhm. Mm so this would be cool for crafting, but. Probably. So here we have a common like Taurus. I actually like that. You like the song, this piece? Yeah, I was this, actually nice. Oh, look at the barrel clasp. Let me see. Actually, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. Um, oh, so this is a fish. And it's like a ceramic piece. You like the stuff? Yeah, that's... that's you like yeah. it? I'll give it to you. You can have it. Um, I can't open this up for some reason. Is it just like the pool? I don't know if it's pool or... It, it feels like a like... clay... It feels like a clay barrel clasp, but... Um, I'll let you handle that. So, here we have some more earrings. This looks like sterling right here. Um... Okay, well, I don't know. It's questionable. You got it open? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't... It's like... Oh, it's probably mm. not. Yeah, these are definitely not. Okay, so... These are actually really cute. These earrings are right here. Very dainty. All the stones are there. Hopefully. Okay, I think in the past I've gotten... A, yeah, I have. I've Similar gotten... Yet? Yes, very much so. And I actually put them in mystery boxes. Here we have a circular... Wow, there's a lot of fire in these stones. They might be... Ooh, so, it's nice. It's nice. Look, they look pretty, yeah. These look like Swarovski's. Mm-hmm. Swarovski. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's always the one word. Exactly. One word. Swarovski. <laughs> You're, You're busting me up over here. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a little break. We just got to um, start chuckling a bit. Oh, this is really cool. Look at oh, this. The yeah, look at it's like okay. So who is, who's this? Express or China? Let me see. <gasps> this is Chico. That's that's good. So. What is Chico for all the people who do not know? Well, Chico typically is really good for a reseller. It ha it holds its value and it does really good like in my eBay store. Mm -hmm. So if you could see. Okay, here we go. This is actually very, very different. I like this a lot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll be really awesome to list. And it's long. Kind of looks like dragonflies a little bit. Like the wings are just spaced out. And then it comes. It splits. I like I this. Those were together at first, but yeah. It's very. It's a little bit tricky. deceiving. But yeah. So. Okay. So we have. Just. Choker. Yeah. It I is. Have this choker. Yeah, we need to trash that. Um, bangle. Silver bangle. Oh what's this? I hope it's mm. good. Okay. So, 
Jackson, this is, okay, so this is like a, um, a magnetic, oh, um, magnetic. it's a magnetic, um, hematite necklace. Oh, so you wouldn't have to, like, clamp it to anything, you just... Exactly, it just sticks, but this, it looks like a little eyeball. Mm -hmm. So, there is a lot of jewelry that has the eye, and it's referred to as, like, the third eye, and... Mexican culture, we call it el ojo, and I, it could just be like the design, but to me it looks like the third eye. It's so pretty nice though, sorry. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of fire on this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an earring. It is an earring. Hopefully we can find its girlfriend around here. Here we have like a chand, uh, not a chandelier, um... Oh, these are like faux coins. This is actually really cool. This gives me like Mediterranean gypsy vibes. And I think this is it. Yeah. All right. Jackson pointed out that this one was over here. All the. Hey, that, one, that one's pretty. That's nice. Yeah. They're, they're cool. Even, face. you know, just like for a regular night out or. I don't see any fades either. Mhm. Mm or like for costumes or something, you know. If so, we have a bunch of little earrings. Little. Actually, I was just talking about a dragonfly. I spoke it into hmm. existence. Uh, another earring. Okay, so here we have like a Ooh, cat eye. Cat eye stone. When you turn in the light, it looks like the line is moving. Mm hmm. Here we have a pair right here. Uh, these are actually mm -hmm. fun. Little, like, little bobble balls. There's no maker's mark. Okay, so here we have this is a tie clip. And there is, this might be gold filled. I think it is gold filled. So this is marked foremost. I got to do some investigating. I don't know what that is. But oh, let's see here. So this says, I'm trying to focus. Probably gonna have to get my magnifier. It says 12. Let me get my magnifier. Jackson, can you pass me um, that box? So, let's see. I, it's probably like 12K gold filled. Mm. Yeah. So this is 12K Goldfield. You know what? I've always seen 10K Goldfield. I've never seen this is Balfour. So um, this might actually be a good find because it's Goldfield, um, definitely vintage. And so that was, that's cool. Okay, so this interest, this is, this looks interesting, but I don't. Hmm. It kind of looks like silver. It does, but there's bit. like some wear. There's a, yeah, exactly. There's like some horrible wear on this. We could test this out. Hopefully, we could find the other one. So I'm gonna scoot this over. And um. Oh, it looks like another magnet piece. Is it? It does have that appearance, but no. Um, this is just like your typical, okay, so wait a minute. This has a tag that says Indonesia. So this actually came from Indonesia. This is, mm. this is really cute. It has like gray tones, seed bead, a little bit of AB iridescence over the stones. This is like a dark stone. A shell, I should say. I'm sorry. This is like a mother of pearl finish. That's cool. Okay. 
so oh look at this chunker so this is Avon wait oh no 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 this is Toba huh that's interesting so Jackson Toba makes a perfume line Perfume? Yeah, they make a perfume line, and it smells really, really good. It's Tova Beverly Hills. Mm. I don't know if this is from the same line. I didn't know. Maybe this was like a promo deal where if you got so much stuff, they threw in this bracelet. Well, um, Tova did make that. It's just, it's really these nice. actually... Let me see. Huh? Mm. It has a wear on it. Somebody who got it definitely put that baby to use. Here's a a choker. Let's let's look at this one right here. Hmm. What did that look like? Another. Okay, so uh, chances are when I come across these pieces, they have missing stones. There's one right there missing. There's one right there missing. So this is just going to go in the craft pile. Let me see if there's any marks. Oh, there's Rudy Grease. That's uh, jewelry cancer. Jewelry cancer? Yeah. Basically, it's when certain metals um, are, ex are oxidized and they're just exposed. Hmm. And then if it's like in a jewelry box right next to another piece of jewelry, that verdigris that you see will hop and, and it'll spread to the other piece so that's something that we do not like in the jewelry community yeah I never want anything to spread yeah okay so this is cute this is vintage it's just like this peachy stretch bracelet but it's in good condition it doesn't look bad no not at all so here we have a okay so this is actually interesting the way this opened up hmm there's no markings. Huh. I don't think this is silver, but it's like made really, really well. I mean, that would be fabulous if this was silver. We could test that at the end if we have enough time. That would be that would be a lot of weight. So here is the other cuff link to this one. So we found its mate. Um Okay, so this is Swank. Swank is a popular um <clears throat> brand from like the 50s mm -hmm. and they specialize a lot in men's jewelry the cufflinks and I've sewed actually swank cufflinks still in its box for you know like 15 bucks maybe 20 um here's another tight clip this is not silver it's that mag that magnet pulled on it so here's the other earring. Yep, exactly. It's Fugazi. It's not authentic. Here's a ballerina, but it's missing stones. I do like the chain though. See it has a little twink it has a little twinkle to it. So Oh, okay. So I actually have one just like this for sale. Oh my god, this one should... Okay, so, whoa. It needs to be cleaned up. I think... So the one I have is by Swank. But this one is Anson. So now I have two. I don't think the other one's sold. It seems very loose. Basically, this is a clip for like a... Okay, I'm trying to remember. Was it a... Oh, for the top part of a men's button-up shirt, or was it a bow tie? It was one or the other, but it's for it's for men. Mm. This has a matching bracelet. Just like some faux stones. Um, 
Hopefully I can find the other cufflink to that one. So this one is not marked. This is like a choker. Okay. So here we have, this most likely is like little kid jewelry, but we have carved little, they look like turtles, yeah. So this is probably like a tourist, um, with the barrel clasp, a tourist. Wow, you know what, I don't know, it has the, yeah, it could be Taurus. This isn't like, a lot of native or Zuni um, jewelry is made like this, but this, this looks not, it looks Taurus, touristy, as I say. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. This looks interesting. This was part of an earring that broke. Um, yeah, see, it, this is, I think, how, oh, okay. So the other piece that I found, it went like this. So there's the pear. So these are, they look kind of like apples. Oh, no. I don't know. It's supposed to emulate leaves, and I don't know what kind of fruit that is. Maybe a pomegranate, but I have the other one. This thrift store is always good about pairing up, you know, throwing throwing in the pairs of earrings. and So, like, here's another pair. Ooh, look at this one. Look at this tie clip right here. Oh, I like the... Yeah, that's nice. It doesn't look like it has any um, like scratches. Or this much. looks like it would match this. Hmm. So if I find the other cuff link, this is a set. Good examination. Why, thank you, Jackson. You're so. so mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. Here's a little stretch. Some cute faux um, pearls. Or let's move this to the side. So I'm seeing a lot of um, tie clips. And oh, look at this one. So this one, oh, there's a lot of writing. It's like a nautic, nautical one. And it says... Oh my gosh, I cannot read that. <clears throat> this one says L, B, and D, or L, B, and B, and it says Made in England. Um, this is... Oh. Something made in England. So this is actually a really good piece, but it has some wear right there. Okay, so that's actually pretty fun. I've never come across um, a tie clip where it says made in England. Here we have, well this looks like it might, could go with that really well. We have some more bangles. Oh, look at this. this is cute. This is... These kind of from far away look like little candies. Does Jackson doesn't look like a candy? Like a... Like what? Oh, this, that is kind of cool. Yeah. It looks like a, like a twist. Um, you know, the ones with the twist on the side. Hmm. Oh, okay. So here we have like a... A faux opal... Huh. Little earring. Um, so, um, it's, let's unhinge this because it, it just helps with the tangles. Okay, so, okay. So here we just have bangles. A lot of times these are not going to be 
silver or gold, but you never know, so you always want to do the magnet test. Um, here's the other swank cufflink. So I have the pair now. It looks like a moonstone. So here's a oh look at this one. This was somebody's collection of um, Thai Thai um, clips. So I'm probably just depending on their value. I'm gonna just bundle them up. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's on this. Okay. It's plastic, but it has like the inlay of flowers. So it's kind of like a mud podge, but it's just like a little plastic. That's cute. Somebody. Okay, so here we go. So I just found the other one. So now I have the set. And there is some wear, a lot of wear on this. <clears throat> when I come across jewelry like this, I always just think, like, whose household did this come from? You know, what, what person did it belong to? This isn't bangle. sticking. First bangle that hasn't sticked yet. This isn't sticking, and it, it's very, very light. Mm, I don't think it's gold, but... Um, I don't know. I think we're going to have to test that one. It could just be alum aluminum doesn't stick to magnet. So it could just be aluminum dipped in a gold color. Here's a little angel. So this one's still in good condition. Oh, it's tangled. Okay, so I'm trying to get this off. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay. So, we just have like um, a gray tone in black, iridescent. That's cute. And actually, as Jackson pointed out, it would match with this, even though it's not the same brand. It would be a good um, collab with the necklace and the bracelet. So, here we have another tie clip. Yeah, this definitely came from the same household. You know, it, it tugs at my heart because I always think, like, did they pass away? You know, did the family just, you know, donate that stuff? I always think about stuff like that. It is cool that you get pieces that are very old from a long time ago. Yeah, I like, um, that's why I collect vintage and antiques. This is from Hawaii, says so Aloha. They ruined it though because they put the sticker on there. Um, these are actually some really fun looking bangles. And I was just thinking about the other one. It looks like it. It matches. Like a set. Okay, so there's some wear on this one. So this isn't gold. This is like... It's not sticking. It's most likely... It, I could see the wear of the silver. So most likely those are aluminum. Okay, so... Let's see here. We might get lucky and this might be silver right here. I don't know. We'll see. Here's a earring. Okay, so this says... Oh, this is from the Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts? Yeah, so... Somebody got it, or they gave it to them. Hmm. This is the other earring that I found earlier. So, let's see if there's a mark on this one. I'm interested to know. Oh no, the back looks like it's not silver. 
of that. I like the feathers though. Yeah, this is a dream catcher. So is the dream catcher is definitely not silver, but I'm thinking this chain might be because it's it's not sticking. So they could have just put it on the on the chain. Let's see here. It just has that appearance to me like it might be silver. So I gotta test that. What in the haberdashery? Oh, okay, so I know what this is. Do you know what this is, Jackson? No, I know not. I want you to try to take a guess. What is this? Think about it. Stopwatch. Okay, so what's <laughs> really a stopwatch? Okay, so this obviously looks like it goes to like like a keychain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you hold stuff in there? Okay, so this holds something. Your purse? How is this gonna hold a purse? <laughs> you are being funny right now, oh. you silly goose you. <laughs> So, this is actually for a cigarette. Oh, so, when people are smoking sense. and they don't have anywhere to dump their um, ashes, ashes, they set it right here. The ashes go in here, close it up, boom. Wow. And that's it. The rest is history. Now we're down to the needy greedy. Mm hmm. Okay, so we have some neon. This is more modern. But it's still in good condition that, um, oh, here's the other cuff link. So I was thinking at first that this had some wear on it, but that's just the pattern. That's just the, as we say in Spanish, estilo, the style. I'm seeing a little bit of verdigris in there. So that's not a good sign. I don't want to put this with anything else. Mm. Okay, so we're at the tail end of this. Did I do this one already? I did? Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't do this one. This one's swank. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like this matches some cuff links that I put to the side. Yeah, it matches this one. So, the, this person had the cuff links. Well, so the, we have two sets. Could no, this, this is, these are, this, these are cufflinks. Yeah, oh yeah, as far as the other one, the cat eye. Yeah. But he had this for the cufflinks and this is for the tie. So, mm -hmm. I just have to clean it up. Hopefully there's not enough scratches, but. So this person liked cufflinks with his outfits. Yeah, he, he. he had different types. A lot of cufflinks. He definitely, um more that stuff a lot probably had some that were real gold ouch he probably had some that were real gold um but if they found it they didn't you know donate it or the thrift store marked it up okay so okay these are old pearls but oh no these are faux these are probably glass. There's some weight to them. There's some weight. These are very vintagey. Yeah, vintage. So I got the other pair of this one. Yeah, and this one. Really looks like it could be silver. This one was swank. This person likes swank a lot. What's that? I've seen the chain in the middle looks like it could be silver. Oh, um. Let's see here. At this point, who knows? I'm not sure if Swank um, produced silver pieces. Mm. So here we have some more bangles. Earring. That is not silver. Okay, so I was looking at this. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is. Well, wait a minute. God, this is trashed. Mm -hmm. 
I just don't like this yellow in here. I don't know if it was just rubbed. I don't know. I feel, it just giving me like it might be silver. It's it it's so it's I I'm not gonna even try this. I'm gonna have to test this because um it's just it's light though. It might be I don't know. You never know. So here we have a cool it's a bracelet so it's gonna pop in like this like that I have never seen these things and so we have the enlarged seed beads it's still in good condition I really like the color it's kind of like a little neon yellow mm -hmm. very boho chic shabby okay girl come through <laughs> it's very authentic and then here we have another another tie clip this I don't know it could be stainless steel or silver look at these earrings these kind of looks like so oh no look at the back it's a deterioration so this these this reminds me of the rosaries you could find in Mexico. Oh, I seen those in a movie before. In a movie? Yeah. What movie was that? Um, I can't remember, but I just remember seeing them. Okay, They're so it's, so it's giving you like deja vu right now. Yeah. Okay, so this is it's like trying to. Oh, I like those. It's trying to like emulate dichroic. But it's it's not it's not glass. It's what is dichroic? dichroic is like um, a type of. I'm trying to explain it in the simplest way. If I find a piece, I'll show you because I, I know I have a lot in my piles. But dichroic, it'll have like um, it's art glass basically, and they use it in, as beading for jewelry, and it'll have like swirls and different colors and. Um, people make sometimes butterflies, but this is plastic. Excellent question. <clears throat> so here we have, this is p a piece, yeah, this is, yeah, this is wood. So it has like a little, I wonder if this was like a paw to somebody's animal, like their little doggy, or, or would that be a cat? Yeah, that's a dog paw. That's a dog paw. See, so somebody made this, and look, it ends up at the thrift store. I'm yeah. telling you. Especially if that if that poor animal's not alive anymore. That's kind of sad. It's mm -hmm. a choker. Lisa gave me you. Good. Oh, a good home, huh? Yeah. So, let's see here. We have a dolphin. I think somebody traveled to Hawaii, because I'm seeing a lot of, like, island type of jewelry. What is this? Oh, that's interesting. So the so this is a toggle clasp, but it's of a umbrella and a purse. We have the Aurora Borealis style type of stones um, these are glass these are very heavy so I I don't there's no brand I think somebody made this yeah somebody made it and that's just cute that's really cute okay so we just have like a rope let's see Puro Vida bracelet or Pura Vida. Vida's life. Pura is like all, like you're all in. So it's like live life, all life. That's what it says. Okay, so uh, that's a bobby pin. We got the other earring. Okay, here. So we have we have a lot of matching earrings, and all the stones are there, so that's cool. 
Whoa, look at this tie. Oh, that's, that's nice. Beautiful. That's a mother of pearl right there. That's a nice one. Very, very pretty. That one's nice. Yeah. God, I got a lot of... Um, oh, here's another one. Yeah, this person definitely had to have real gold. And, um... Um... Silver, t um... Bar ties and, um... Clips. Tie clips. So this looks like it's a, it's a money clip. Here we have the, um, tie clip. And I don't see any cufflinks, but... Uh, <clears throat> That's a set right there. Nice, yeah. I, like the... I like the tie clip. The the money clip does have some wear on it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is copper though. Yeah, it's sticking. Here's the other um, earring. Those are actually in really good condition. That's a good set right there. And let's see, let's see, let's see. We have like this um, plastic stone that's trying to emulate like a snake skin. So this is one big mama right here that's for last. <laughs> okay so wait a minute there's this earring oh, that's that's a nice oh wait not an earring this is a, a necklace this? yeah i don't it's not real opal i wouldn't think so wait what's going on here yeah i wouldn't think so that is nice too though that's cute though oh it has two mm-hmm I would just probably use those charms on another necklace. This is all tangled up. Um, let's see here. Oh, it's like three layers. That's actually really, really cute. Mm, it's, actually it's not real like opal. It's faux opal. Possibly, yeah. yeah so then, thing, actually, he might have traveled a lot. Well, it was probably well, it was probably the wife, if anything, or it came oh, yeah. from a different household. Um, I don't. Yeah, this is busted. Just for giggles, let's. Okay, okay, that definitely. So we have a little bit of time. I think we should test. What are we gonna test for silver? This, this, this earring. Uh, I don't think no this is definitely not this one what else okay those pieces okay so um, pass me the the obsidian stone I would be happy if this is silver the, I mean but if not it's okay I don't think this is silver um, let me see here. Okay, so, uh, you know what, I don't think, because, well, what was attached to it was that bow stuff, I don't think it is, but, see, it has like a red, oh, I'm not even in the frame, huh, it has like a red, yeah, uh, that's, already. yeah, that's a bad sign, that's a bad sign. I wish I had the pair to this one. Oh, I think this is silver. It's 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 it's, clear. it's scratching like butter. That looks very very pure. Oh yeah. Oh man, I wish I, I had. I can see the difference. That that is cool. That they can see the difference too. Mm -hmm. um, for real and fake. It's I wish I had the the other one. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe we bypassed it. Okay. Well. Oh. 
Okay, I need to get a better grip. Sometimes when it makes that sound, it'll still be real silver, but let's see. Oh, it's kind of giving a brown color. It's like a golden color. That's weird. Never seen that before? I think, I don't, uh, it's probably not silver. Yeah, I don't think this one's silver. I'm not going to waste my time with that. So, we have this one, this one, and this earring. Uh, what do you think is real silver? Well, I already kind of gave it away a little bit because... Yeah, I'm thinking for sure the middle one. No, no on that one. So, here we go. Let's see. Well, that one disappeared immediately. That one, that one disappeared, that one disappeared. That one's still there. I like the blue in it. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Real. It's really cool. Oh, man. So, that's so real this is real silver. This is going to go on scrap because, I mean, I can't do nothing with it. I don't have the other earring. But that's not too bad. I got some really good pieces for 1989. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, uh, I'm asking you guys that are watching the video, do you guys feel like this was a fail? This was a win-win? I think for 1989, um, you know, was, I got some cool, fun pieces. A lot of um, bar clips, you know. But I mean, this was this was these were some good finds. Got some silver. I didn't test like, you know. Um, I'm trying to look. At, oh, that's just too bright. Um, this one's gold filled. A lot of tie bars that were gold filled. So that's really good. Also for either resell like as is or for scrap because gold filled does sell. So, oh wait, wasn't there a chain? Wait a minute, there was a chain that I was going to test. Remember with the, the, the dream catcher? Yes. So let's just test it out. That one actually looks... Because I could use this chain and then... Um, In the future? Yeah, or I could put it for scrap. It's just kind of hard to. Oh no. It's, it is red. Yeah, that ain't. That's nothing. We'll just put a little boop. You guys watch the magic. Boop, boop. Bam, mm -hmm. it's gone. That's very Fugazi. Mm hmm. Very much Fugazi. Fugazi. We don't like Fugazi here at this channel at Soho California Vintage, All right? We like the That's right. We want real authentic or Swarovski. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for if you made it in this long video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Soho, California Vintage. Signing off.